everybody. Um, today's activity is a popsicle stick catapult. So your materials for this one are going to be nine popsicle sticks. Now I have some bigger ones. Any size will work. The small craft sticks will work just fine. You will need um, a plastic spoon or a regular spoon will work, a couple of rubber bands, and something to put inside your spoon that you're going to use as your projectile. It could be a whole bunch of different things. You can use a cotton ball, a ping pong ball, you can get some tin foil rolled up in a ball. You can have like a rubber bouncy ball, you can use a bottle cap, anything that you can put in here inside the spoon. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to take seven of your popsicle sticks. You can count those out. And you're going to use two rubber bands and one at each end to secure your popsicle sticks together. So I'm gonna put one here and I'm going to put another one here like that, okay? Then I'm gonna put those aside and I'm going to take the other two popsicle sticks and this time I'm only going to secure them together at one end with a rubber band like that, okay? Then the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to open up your two popsicle sticks that are um, only secured at one end and you're going to put the stack of seven inside like this. So you can see it's kind of open and then you stack those on the inside. And then the next thing you're gonna do is you're going to take your spoon and you're going to secure that to the top of the, the two popsicle sticks, so just to the top. So this could be a little tricky, but you might be able to just put one. I'm gonna try and put two. I'm actually gonna take that one out and wrap it around and slide it down. Then I'm just gonna try to hold it open with my finger because you only wanna attach it to one, not both. And then I'm gonna use the other one like that. Maybe one more. Okay, so now I'm going to take my other two, my other, my stack of seven and put it in the middle. So essentially my whole catapult is pretty much done. Um, so then this is where you'll take whatever projectile you're gonna use. I'm, for the purpose of this video, just going to use a cotton ball because it's not gonna roll across the floor. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna hold it down with one hand and then use your hand, pull back on the spoon, and when you let go, your projectile, whatever it is you're using, should kind of fling off into the air. Now, there's a lots of different things you can do with this. Depending on the types of materials you use, you can always um, you know, get a measuring tape, maybe put some tape on the floor or a piece of paper, like a, a starting line, and you can, um, use your catapult to make lots of different objects fly in the air and then you can measure them with a tape measure or a ruler or you know you can use your shoe to measure them and, and see which one goes further the other thing you can do is you can kind of play around with your seven popsicle sticks and put it at different spots in between the other two so maybe you want to put it there and try and fling something maybe move it in a little bit more fling it there and see if that makes a difference or see if the objects that you're using as your projectile um, travel a further distance or a shorter distance, depending on their weight. Does a heavier one go further than say this cotton ball? If you had a rubber bouncy ball, would that go any further or not compared to the um, cotton ball? So there's lots of different things you could do. If you have some Legos or something you could stack at home, you can kind of build a wall and try and, um, use your catapult to get whatever you're using as your projectile up over the wall. There's lots of different things you can do to see how high they go, how far they go, and you can compare and contrast those. So how this works is obviously the catapult is not going to do anything if I don't touch it. It's not going to go anywhere. That cotton ball is not going to move. So I need to apply a force to the spoon, okay? And this, the stack of seven um, popsicle sticks is creating this lever effects and, and it gives a little bit. The spoon is plastic, it'll bend, the popsicle stick will give a little bit. So my lever, and then I'm applying some force. So when I let that force go, that force is being exerted on the spoon. And when I let it go, that force is then being exerted into my um, 
projectile here, my cotton ball, and then that is causing it to accelerate and increase in speed upward, and then it makes it fly into the air. So when you do that, it takes off. So lots of different things you can try with this. Um, and, and I hope you have fun and compare and contrast. You can have make some games or make a nice competition out of it. So I hope you enjoy your new catapult.